There's a looming infrastructure crisis in our country. And for our country to survive and prosper, we need to provide a safe, clean, and efficient way to connect our communities to the marketplaces of the world. Norfolk Southern is proud to be part of that solution. And as an innovative company, we know that the future is now and that the future needs us. Norfolk Southern's Midwest Rail Line began as a coal route in the 1880s, connecting the Appalachian coal fields with the Atlantic coast and the flourishing industries of America's heartland. Today, Norfolk Southern is meeting the needs of shippers in a global economy by providing the fastest, most direct double-stack container route from seaports in Virginia to the Midwestern Gateway in Chicago through the heartland corridor. Double stack freight cars are highly efficient means of freight transportation. More freight moves for a lower cost. And rail is already one of the most efficient forms of moving goods. It has less impact on the environment, less congestion on our roadways, and lower fuel costs. You put all that together and creating a direct passage for double stack cars through the Midwest was a brilliant idea. It's a win-win solution for everyone. The Heartland Corridor is one of the most significant railroad engineering projects of modern times. A monumental feat of planning and partnership with 53 project sites along 379 miles of railroad. Planning began in 2000. Construction started in 2007 at Cowan Tunnel near Radford, Virginia. The first double stack train is scheduled to use the corridor in September 2010. The 10 years between inception and inauguration showcase the engineering challenges and triumphs. 28 tunnels were re-engineered to increase clearances either by lowering the track, relocating the rails, notching the arches, or replacing the roof with a taller crown. During construction, a working main line was kept operational to allow trains to stay on schedule. We needed to modernize our infrastructure to compete in today's global economy, to turn our high capacity route into a super highway service. A direct route would allow for next day service and shave nearly 250 miles off of each container move. It's a huge cost and time savings. In order to maximize this, we needed to provide additional intermodal terminals for loading and offloading. This way, we're providing our customers not only with the increased capacity and efficiency of the rail lines, but also improved movement of their freight at its destination. The terminals, such as the Rickenbacker Intermodal Facility in Columbus, Ohio, provide a much more efficient transfer of containers between truck and rail. High-tech ramps provide a seamless and swift freight transfer Situated close to other infrastructures, such as airports and interstate highways, the new terminals provide communities along the route with opportunities for economic development and new jobs. Another challenge in undertaking a project so large was how to pay for it. Norfolk Southern worked with officials in the public sector to form a public-private partnership, an innovative five-way agreement among Norfolk Southern, Virginia, West Virginia, Ohio, and the federal government. We started working with Capitol Hill because it was clear that the financial return to Norfolk Southern would have been insufficient for us to do this as a railroad-only project. So we had to marry our interests, which were providing these double-stack clearances, with the interest of agencies with other projects within the same corridor. And the Heartland Quarter became an investment project of some $320 million, with all of the partners paying a share of the cost. The public sector pays for the public benefits, and Norfolk Southern pays for the railroad benefits. Without this agreement, this type of project would not have been possible. It's a future template for developing these kinds of initiatives. This was another huge win-win for all the stakeholders because a dollar spent on rail infrastructure will buy more cargo carrying capacity than a dollar spent on highway infrastructure. Not only do the states benefit with increased revenue, but the federal government, which oversees interstate highways, sees tremendous environmental and economic benefits. 
For one, fewer trucks on the road means lower highway maintenance costs. For another, the diversion of freight from highways to rail reduces congestion, improves public safety, and allows for more freight to move in total. In the end, this is environmentally beneficial and less expensive for everyone. Freight rail transportation remains the backbone of U.S. industry. By making these investments in rail infrastructure, the private industries that rely upon freight transportation will enjoy increased efficiency, and that's good for the economy. Responsibility means not just focusing on more investment in capacity. The real fundamental issue is better investment decisions in a mature market. And from that standpoint, intermodal makes the most sense. The Heartland Corridor was truly a monumental undertaking. The nature of the public-private partnership, the inherent risk associated with tunnel modifications, the need for exclusive, uninterrupted blocks of time to do the work, and just the sheer scope of the project necessitated extremely close cooperation between all of the parties. The success of the project can be attributed to the dedicated efforts and true teamwork of all of those who have been associated with the project and their desire to work together to make the Heartland Corridor a reality.